My name is Brijesh Deep. I live in the Netherlands with my uh, wife and my son, uh, who's about to be two years old next month. Um, I have about 20 years of experience in the industry with uh, software testing, Agile and DevOps, uh, to be very specific. I uh, work for Surgity in the Netherlands. Uh, Prior to that, I was in India working for various organizations, and uh, I, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much me. Speaking about uh, a topic is uh, so DevOps is possible in the field of IT, that is information technology, but is DevOps possible in the field of OT as well? That is what I'm going to speak about. So OT stands for operational technology. And now with uh, us in the middle of uh, the industrial revolution 4.4 or industry 4.0 as people call it, uh, we are seeing a convergence of the IT systems with the OT systems. That is, uh, you know, technologies are coming together. So you have software merging with hardware and there are, you know, IOT applications everywhere uh, with, you know, uh, devices talking to each other devices talking over the internet everything is connected so it is a big mesh now how do you make sure that devops carries you through the entire journey when you talk about industry 4.0 or when you talk about the convergence of it systems with ot systems is something that i'm going to be focusing on uh, through my talk Because uh, you know now we are seeing a we as I said we are in the middle of uh, what is known as the industrial revolution four or industry four point as we call it where everybody is focusing on digital transformation, which means that we are seeing an, uh, a growth of you know uh, of systems or growth of uh, technologies such as you know we are talking about smart kitchen, smart home, uh, smart city, everything is smart. So when you talk about when you talk about everything being smart, you must be capable of producing these systems or taking these systems into production and making them live as soon as possible with you know the least uh, amount of time to market, which means that the development teams and the ops teams should work together. Now the challenges come in where you know you are talking about not just pure IT systems, but you are talking about you know systems that involve hardware as well, systems that involve a lot of uh, uh, you know technologies which are uh, compelling you to think in a way as to how they will work together with these IT systems that or or applications that you are you you have developed. So. That is why I feel that it is important that uh, people need to look at this at the moment. Now for the takeaways for attendees, so from uh, the development side, uh, I mean, I, I, I will not disambiguate as uh, dev or QA, but in general, people will come to know as to what, uh, you know, are the main challenges that we have at this point of time in terms of uh, the big systems that I'm talking about, then how DevOps actually helps us get around those challenges. And thirdly, and most importantly, how do we actually go ahead and implement uh, a DevOps pipeline, so, so to speak, in the production of such a system? Uh, which obviously includes, uh, you know, we are talking about continuous integration, we are talking about continuous deployment, we are also talking about continuous testing, which means that the focus will not only be on, uh, you know, shift left, but also on shift right. So, uh, you know, I'm going to talk also about that, uh, as to how do we look at both aspects together. So, that is what is going to be the primary takeaway for, for the audience.
Um, so my success mantra is, uh, is, is very, very simple. And I think that success is uh, defined in three P's, uh, like I say. Basically, you need to be patient, you need to be persistent, and you need to perform. So if you patiently persist to perform, you are bound to be successful. That is something that that is my personal mantra that I follow, and that would be my message to everybody else. That if if you have a little bit of patience, and if you continuously uh, work on it, if you are persistent towards your effort, and then if you keep on performing the way you are doing, then you will automatically see that the value of your performance increases day by day, and and you know very soon you are going to be successful. So that is my, my simple definition of success and that is my message to everybody. Just, just stay patient, just be persistent and keep performing. I will have to bring in the fifth P as well, which is passion. Yes. If you're really passionate about what you do, I mean, uh, politics cannot obstruct you. You will obviously find a way out and, uh, you know, you will, uh, and, and if you apply the first three Ps, but you do it with, with passion, then uh, I, I don't think the fourth P or, or politics, as you say, can actually obstruct you. So in the corporate world, we see a lot of uh, challenges in terms of, of politics. However, what becomes important is that you really love to do what you do. And if you do so, then, you know, those things will not matter to you. And what, what people say or what people's opinions are will not matter because you will be focused on your goal. And, uh, you know, you can apply the three Ps uh, very easily. So much, Adi. It was indeed a pleasure uh, for me to speak to you.